So in today's instructional I'm going to show the Z guard position, mainly how to maintain and control your opponent from the position and then what attacks we could look to do from there. Uh, I'm a big fan of a 2 to 1 grip using an overhook and I'm actually a big fan of using the overhook in an unconventional fashion. Elevate yourself, pull the hand in. So now look, I've got two to one. I played Z guard a lot from uh, late brown belt into my first few years at black belt. I found it's a very strong position to maintain no gi. When I was making the transition between a lot of gi training and no gi training, I found Z guard was one of the best positions to slow the person down once they managed to open your close guard. It also is like a very dynamic position, so you can attack both left, right, down the center, and get to the legs and the neck comfortably. So it's really diverse in how you can attack. But it's one of the few positions that the person can't immediately start putting pressure on your guard. I'm actually looking to catch the hand on the inside. I've tried to cover off topics uh, in a bulk, starting with the framing process of keeping yourself on your side and kind of the main uses of Z guard and how you can maintain distance when your partner's putting a lot of pressure on you. Uh, then we've looked at uh, recovery methods when the person implements a knee slide pass and then going on to some attacks using the overhook grip. So we just lift our knees towards our shoulders and create the butterfly sweep. And then I straighten my body away, bringing my leg out over the shoulder. I'm big on the idea of hunting for the submission in any grappling match, but I always believe that you should push the position first before the submission so that you can maintain dominance and control. So when I'm on my back playing Z guard, one of my, my prime focuses is always to get to top. So there's butterfly sweeps in this instructional that should help you get to top position. But if we are on our back, we can always look for guillotines, triangles, and there's arm exposure available at all times.